Hello, this is Adrian Sanchez with hopefully a fast strategy for solving multi-step problems with many variables on different sides of an equation. Uh, you can call it solving by grouping into two groups, one group of variables and one group of constants. The main concept involves the following. You want to drop the items into each one of the circles. All the variables go on the left. All the constants, the pure numbers, go on the right. So, For example, this negative 8, that's a constant. For example, this 2t, that's a variable. I want to keep it on the right. I just drop it and bring it down. Now, from one side onto the other, like this plus 8, then it becomes the opposite. I'm going to change its sign. It's going to go from one side on, from the left side to the right side. It will become a negative 8. Likewise, it's 3t. That's my variable. From one side onto the other side, it becomes negative 3t. And so again, you must understand that the constants are the negative 8 and the plus 8 from the very beginning. The variables was your 3t term and your 2t minus 3t. So this is one way you can uh, organize your work. Once you have everything organized inside the bubbles or circles, then you do the math. Uh, for example, if we have 2t minus 3t, we get negative 1t minus 3t, we end up with negative 4t. On the other side, the uh, constants, we have a negative 8 minus 8. That turns into a negative 16. We're pretty much just now one step away from solving this problem. We're just going to solve both sides by negative 4 because this is read negative 4 times t. The inverse operation is division. We apply that on both sides to uh, isolate our variable. Therefore, t is equal to a negative divided by a negative. That is a positive 4. So again, this method is ideally easy for students to organize their work.